Good morning, good Monday morning to you guys um, in Ranala, as, uh, and thank you for taking time out to listen to my assembly, um, and I hope you're getting something from some of the stuff that I'm sharing with you. I've had some really good feedback, and really lovely feedback from, from staff and from children, and I, I just pray and that, that, that it doesn't fall on deaf ears and that you get a little fr from it. So my question today is, who am I? My question today is, who am I? And that's aimed at you. So guys, quick one. Why do you think we come to school? Yeah, it is to do maths, English, science, PE, music, RE, all the stuff, okay? And that's important. It's really important, and I can't stress that enough. Um, and the times I've had a regret where I didn't work hard in school, and that was for numerous reasons in my life. But... I regret it because I could have done a whole lot more with my life, um, but I didn't. But on the other hand, I wouldn't be doing this job. So there you go. Not everything is obvious to us when we start stuff. But who am I? So listen, often as young people, we are challenged in our thinking about what value we bring to the world, what, what our life's going to look like. You know, I remember as a kid looking in the mirror and having this same, almost having a conversation with myself saying, who am I? What am I going to do in my life? And I'm sure you guys have that conversation. And that's natural. Okay, we fight, people get later on in life, they have this thing called a midlife crisis where they question who they are and what their purpose is in life. It never stops going away. I'm 55 now and I still have those questions. What am I doing? What is my value? What can I do to make things better in my life, in my family's life and the people I interact with in their lives? So those questions never go away. But what I want you to understand is you have an incredible value in your life. You're not here by mistake, I believe. You're here because you were created to be here. And you're here because you have immense value. And that value will never be known until you dig in and find it and understand it. In the Bible, it says about... Um, the parable of the talents. And you can either invest in the, in, in the talents you have, or you can just sit on them and do nothing. And if you sit on them and do nothing, guess what? Nothing will change. You will still stay the same. And at 16, 17, 18, or even 30, or even 40, 50, 60, 70, on the day you die, hopefully when you're 99 or 100 or whatever it is, you will look at your, in your on your deathbed, you'll say, Man, I could have done a whole lot better if I'd have put some effort into my life. And that's what I'm challenging you about today. You've returned from COVID and we're now in school. And last week I said, what habits are you going to change? Now, this is the one habit I'd love you to do, uh, to, in, to invest in and to do, to do with your life. And that is to take time to look at yourself, evaluate yourself. That means to really have a good, good look at yourself and see what... What, what you can do to improve yourself. See what you, not what me, not your teachers, not your parents, not your carers, not your best mates can do, but what you, you, yeah, you can do to improve yourself. And that might be eating healthily, not spending every hour of the day in front of a screen gaming or YouTubing or whatever. It might mean doing some physical activity. Yes, that's going outside, guys, and doing something like sport. Going for a walk. Yeah, doing something. Just things that you can invest in your life. And then working hard. Because nothing comes, nothing is for nothing. You have to, to work hard to get some something back. Uh, and in the parable of the talents, one went away with a load of stuff. One guy, there was three of them, they went away and the, their um, boss said, you know, do something with this. And they went away. One did amazingly well, really invested his money and wisely and made it work for him. The second one did the same, but not on that bigger level. The third one did nothing. He was so scared of losing the investment or the money, they just sat on it and did nothing. And then came back with 
Zilch. Nil poir. Nothing. My accents are awful sometimes, aren't they? But, is that going to be you? Are you going to be in all those years on in your life, looking back and going, man, I wish I'd invested. I wish I had. I wish I'd done more. But subsequently, as I got older and less school, I realised I had to, and I had to pay for it, physically pay for it out of my own pocket to, to grow and develop and invest in myself. At the moment, guys, it's free. The only outlay you have is effort and application. The only outlay is not money, it's effort and application. And when you apply and put effort in, you will undoubtedly get value for your money or value for your effort. You will recoup and grow and get big, bigger and better in everything that you do. So guys, message today is as simple as this. You are valuable. Regardless of what your colour is, your size, your gender, anything, you are valuable and you bring to this world incredible, incredible value and incredible potential. Incredible potential. You know, Jesus' disciples, none of them were like really clever blokes and the, the bee's knees. They were fishermen who were deemed as thick and useless. There was the tax collector. No one liked the tax collector. They hated his guts because he took their money off them. There were numerous people. Even Paul, when at the end, he wasn't... You know, Jesus saw him on the road to Damascus, visited him, and Paul turned from this evil, horrible person into one of the most incredible people in the history of the world, where he recognised that the only way to develop was to operate in love, in the love of Jesus. So guys, I'm going to leave this as food for thought for you guys. As you return back to school, and you have been, invest in yourself, believe in yourself, see your value in yourself, and you will reap the rewards from that. I'm going to pray for us, as I always do, and I continue to pray for this school and all that attend it. So just, uh, you can close your eyes and just listen to the words. They're my prayer to God for you. So Father God, thank you as ever for the lives that we have. Thank you for the the way out of COVID. Thank you for those that have um, found um, cures or or the jab to help us come through COVID. Thank you for the leaders of this nation who are doing their best to bring us out of COVID. Thank you for your the teachers, the head, the staff of this school, for all the effort they are putting in. To, to get us through this process. And thank you for the children that come here to learn and be educated. And I pray, Father God, that they take on board that education, they grow from it, and they can return in years to come to say, do you know what? God gave me this school and it improved my life beyond measure. So guys, invest in yourself. Take care of yourself and value yourself. Pray all this, Lord, in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Goodbye. Stick to the rules, as Boris says. Stick to the rules.